everyone hope you're having a great day uh today i'm going to show you one of the best ways to farm plastic in fallout 76. uh you use this for most of your bulking at least if you're like me for all the other random junk you grab as well as just some high level uh crafting recipes in general as well as a lot of electrical uh weapons uh but anyway let's take a look where we are today we are at morgantown high school uh, literally just to the it's pretty much straight right of Vault 76 when you start. Uh, you'll end up going this way for the Morgantown Airport real early on for some of the, I think, responders missions. Uh, but yeah, pretty quick right off the bat, just to the right. You can do this uh, pretty much right out of the gate for uh, plastic farming. But this still ends up being a great place to farm at high tier. So you spawn up on the hill. Uh, you're going to actually go right around the back of the school here. And you're going to go right in this back door over here. Sometimes I feel like um, some dogs can spawn out here. Some wild hounds or something like that. But never really anything too bad it seems. Usually in the high school I believe it's... Uh, it might be fixed, but I believe it's almost always scorched that spawn inside. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> no, I wanted to do one quick video for YouTube. <laughs> Had to do the quick YouTube video. Anyway, if you're looking for the plastic, my friend, <laughs> this is the place you want to be. Uh, the high school right here has a bunch of plastic. I don't know if I've been through here recently. No, it looks like we're alright. All of these pumpkins, all these toys give you plastic for bulking all the craftable shit in the game. Super easy to grab. <laughs> well, the stream's purpose is to kind of just sneak out a quick YouTube video, my friend. <laughs> Since four in the morning, three nights in a row. That's illegal. It is past my bedtime. I, <laughs> like I said, we're just sneaking in one quick YouTube video and then we're out for the night. So <laughs> enjoy the uh, sneak peek, my friend. <laughs> but anyway, you're just going to swing through here. You're going to snag all these plastic pumpkins. Um, if you're real quick and got a pretty good eye. All these golf balls are plastic as well. So each golf ball actually gives you a fair bit of plastic. Ironically. <laughs> I don't think golf balls are plastic, right? Wouldn't, would that be like ceramic? I don't know, which is, I mean, this game has a ceramic craftable too, so I feel like, I think these bowling pins are wood. Uh, I could be mistaken on that. <laughs> But you want to just snag all that real fucking quick. If mommy catches us, we're in big trouble. <laughs> I won't tell if you don't tell. <laughs> You're gonna just run down to this punch room real quick. Kill all the. Come on, seriously? Did you not see me literally melt that guy? Okay, come on. I swear they're just popping up at this point. Okay. I heard another one yell. I'm just not gonna look for him. Uh, all of these plates and silverware in here are plastic as well. The uh, cups and bowls are not, so it's not worth your time. But any silverware, any plates, quickly just snag them up. Cafeteria trays I like. I don't think... Actually, cafeteria trays might be plastic as well. Um... If they're not plastic, they're aluminum, and aluminum is something I always need, so I'm more than happy to snag them either way. Uh, usually I think there is more in here. I don't know if uh, someone partially looted this, or maybe I'm just blind. I'm missing some. But uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. After all that, let's see how we do. So, let's see, what is that? It is plastic. Okay, so that's 6, 19, 20. Uh, just one on those, 23. Two on those, so another 26. So you're, you're looking at roughly all said and done if you get all the plastic in here, somewhere between like 70 and 80. And if you have the perk, let me show you right here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. 
scrapper, you get extra components when scrapping stuff. Only weapons and armor. Doesn't apply to this. So actually, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but I am going to show you another spot I farm plastic that uh, scrapper actually will make a difference. Uh, I heard someone shoot at me, so I'm going to just kind of move before I fast travel. The other place we're going to want to check for plastic today is West Tech Research Center. Uh, down on the bottom right. It's just to the white, uh, right of White Springs. <laughs> hey, Boob. Hope you're doing well, buddy. <laughs> so as we wrap up the stream here, this is the second place to farm uh, plastic. This is probably the better of the two. And on top of being a great farm location for plastic, this is one of the best farm locations in the entire game for just XP, raw XP, as well as legendaries if there's not an event going. Uh, there are some new events that are hands down the best way to farm legendaries. Uh, however, if there's no events, they're randomly spawned, so if there's none currently active, this is the place to go. Uh, West Tech Research Center is guaranteed to be super mutant spawn. If you go into this place, if you sleep in a bed to get the well-rested perk before coming here, you'll get bonus XP. And then on top of that, if you do something like take, I don't know, a Barry Mentats, increases your intelligence, you'll get bonus XP. If you do something like, uh, I don't know, uh, join a casual team, which increases your intelligence, you'll get bonus XP. <laughs> if you eat cranberry relish, you'll get bonus XP. If you drink uh, cranberry nuka cola, you'll get bonus XP. And all of these things stack. So if you do all of these things, which obviously we didn't just now, you get ludicrous amounts of experience from this place. You see the level up right there that just popped for us? We're level 393. If you think it's hard to level up at endgame, you just haven't been to the right places. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, we can just kind of murder our way right through these super mutants. We're getting really good XP for it. I don't know why that guy detonated. Kill all these mutants real quick, break that turret. Okay, so we, cle we cleared out pretty damn quick, right? Fun time. Oh, for sure we're going to have a fun time editing it. <laughs> After you clear this place out, you can just check all corpses nearby. Depending what you're fishing for, um, you can literally just take all. Uh, if I'm literally just looking to recoup junk, I will always just click take all from this place. And accept I'm going to get over encumbered in this process. And that... It's whatever, I'll just figure it out at the end. But we can kind of sort through this, take the high value things. However, with the intent of farming plastic, there's one thing in particular we are looking for. And I can't believe we didn't find any on those first bodies. We'll check these ones, I don't think we're close enough. There's one specific thing we are looking for. If we look at that a second time, it'll work. Okay. And that is these laser rifles if you can get laser rifles which is a very good chance that super mutants drop them i can't believe we only got one in that whole first section it's ridiculous uh laser rifles have what like 12 plastic or something when you break them apart with that perk on i showed you earlier uh each laser rifle is a crap load of plastic on top of that <laughs> On top of that, like I said, these guys drop a bunch of them, and they do not weigh a lot, so it's super easy to kind of just come through here, uh, check all corpses, grab all the laser rifles, but we'll do a run, we'll see what we end up with. <laughs> Go from there. Professional commentary. Oh, you know we got that. You know we got the goods. We gotta get the YouTube channel up and running, Code. I gotta pump these numbers up. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh no, I didn't know I sounded like that. Oh god. Oh god. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Alright, well let's finish this run up. Let's see what we can get from it. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, you're dead. The other cool thing about those berry mentats is it highlights everything that's alive in pink, so it's really easy for us to just spot the enemies and murderize them. I can't believe how many of them are spawning assault rifles instead of uh, laser rifles. We'll do a quick check just to make sure I didn't miss one. Yeah, all of them are assault rifles. The other cool thing about this place is Nuka-Cola machines. If you are like me in this game, 
you make Nuka grenades, which are the most fun version of grenades, and you need Nuka Cola indefinitely. So you can do things like this. <laughs> God, I love Nuka grenades. <laughs> One me, one me, bro. You have to theoretically can kiss my ass. <laughs> yeah, not tonight, my friend. No, no. Like I said, we're just getting this. Uh, we're just getting some quick little run-throughs for the YouTube content. I was gonna say, I'm happy to have uh, have whoever wants to stick around for it. But yeah, <laughs> viewers are just a happy side effect right now. Okay, here we go. Here's a charging rifle. I want to double check there wasn't another one. I think he was using an assault rifle. Yeah, there's another one. So that's the other thing is you want to check these because sometimes they will definitely be holding one gun and when you loot their body, they're using a different. <laughs> one of the wonderful perks of Fallout 76. <laughs> um, the other thing about up here is uh, that room down there can only be open from this council so when you go through here if you want to loot that room you gotta open it while you're up here I think that's about this side of the room let's go loot that room that we just opened Sounds like there's a lot. <laughs> Where's... God damn it. See, that one was a legendary I just killed. I don't know if you saw it in time as I melted him, but... Uh, one of those on above us was a legendary there. Yep, there's the bone hammer. We'll take that for sure. <laughs> take these bottle caps. Alright, another laser rifle. Not much. Honestly, this has been a pretty poor return for uh, this. I mean, like I said, you're usually going to get a couple legendaries out of it, so it's usually at least worth it for that. Uh, you can get a hazmat suit, and I believe a bottle head can spawn in there as well, but not guaranteed, obviously. Uh, right here's a tinker's bench. We can break down most of the crap we've grabbed. But yeah, like right here, 11 plastic, 11 plastic, 11 plastic, 11 plastic. Uh, I've, I've pulled over like 150 plastic out of here in one run. <laughs> Depends on how many end up with charging rifles. We're not through yet, I was gonna say. We've done like the lesser crowded areas, honestly. This area right here. I don't remember where you get the codes for this building. Maybe it's a main quest, but this is the area we gotta get to. Nukes and grenades caught in 4K. You fucking know it, bud. I can hear the warhounds. Another cool thing about this place is you can find goop here, is what it's called, or something like that. <laughs> it's like glowing liquid or something. I can't quite... This right here. Toxic goo. Uh, this is only found in this location as far as I'm aware. Uh, it's got no real use. I think it's like a bunch of radiation if you drink it. That being said, it looks cool. You can put it on display and since it's only located in this building, people will buy it from other players for ridiculous prices. So it's one of those things you can just mark up if you want to snag it. 
Um, or you can be like me and just move product and just under undersell it for probably a hundred caps all day. But I wouldn't be surprised if you could uh, grift someone for a couple hundred caps. If you're real lucky, you might get some Yahoo for like a thousand, but it's not really worth waiting and holding on to it that long. You can just, like I said, it's easy to find here. You can just go and grab ten in the time it would take to sell one at a thousand. We're just going to double check, like I said, all these corpses. Um, oh, I just want to make sure we're close enough to see all the stuff. Uh, nope. I can hear... There's more enemies. There's, like, I can hear the war. Home. They're above us, I know. There's a whole, like, floor above us that we haven't cleared. Must be where they're howling from. Real vicious, I can tell. Is that it? Is that it? Come on. Oh. That is it. But yeah. Wait, did we come in? This is the door we came in. I want to go out the other door. It's just a couple more little caveats in the back. Just. <laughs> but as we come out here, this is the last of the. Oh, that was glitchy. <laughs> this is the last of the so-called guards, I guess. Uh, just the last couple things that could have fusion rifles for us. There is a power generator here, so you can get a fusion core a lot of the time. Worth the snake if you are using power armor. There's a... That's what I'm looking for. Oh, I missed. Time to blow it to hell. <laughs> I missed. No, I didn't. <laughs> I think this guy was shooting a laser rifle at us, right? Hell yeah. Oh. Okay. We'll go around. And yeah. That is the run. Yeah, so we ended up with one extra laser rifle at the end. But... Between these two uh, methods, you can usually end up with a couple hundred plastic pretty quick. Uh, it's usually the best way I find to keep uh, pace with like bulking up all the craftable materials you have. But uh, yeah, hope everyone enjoyed, and uh, yeah, <laughs> hope everyone has a great night. Thank you for catching the stream. <laughs>